Hey, greetings YouTubers of all shapes and sizes. Today, I'm going to teach you what not to do on eBay. Okay, so to preface this, let me tell you a little bit about uh, what's going on. I've got a three-day weekend coming up. Well, it's actually past now. But I had a three-day weekend coming up where all I could do was go out into the shop and drill and hack and sand and paint on guitars. This was going to be wonderful. I was going to do, and I'm still going to do it, it's just going to take me a little while now. I was going to do a comparison between buying a new Chinese copy guitar and a good old beat up hag from the 90s when they were making wonderful guitars that are about the same price. So what did I do? I went to eBay to buy one of these Chinese guitars. You can get them off Alibaba, AliExpress, they'll ship them to China. On eBay, there are certain sellers that will actually have an inventory in Los Angeles. I live in Phoenix. Los Angeles to Phoenix is a three day trip, four if you're going slow boat and you're afraid to pay for shipping. I can have that guitar in no time. So two and a half weeks ago, I ordered it because they said, California uh, inventory ships from California. Perfect, that's what I needed to know. Two and a half weeks ago, I bought the guitar. Paid them in full right up front. And to this day, I do not have a tracking number. So what does that tell me? That tells me it's coming from China. So that tells me they lied like a Rhodesian rug on eBay to get my money. Normally you pay 20 or 30 bucks more because it's a, a LA uh, inventory. You know it's already good. It's not gonna get broken in shipping, blah, blah, blah. You know they've already done a little look and make sure everything's okay. So, okay, 20, 30 bucks, worth it. Send it to me. Well, guess what? They lied to me. Then I found this other guitar on a, um, in fact, you may have seen it too. It was a an eBay ad from a, a pawnbroker and I bought this guy. This is an old ESP LTD. You might recognize it because it's got a sublime sticker that was on the back of the neck, which is real comfortable. I don't know how they did that. And it's got dried gunk from the sticky of the, of the uh, sticker. Um, and obviously the clear aged around it. But I'm gonna sand that down. I'm gonna put a new profile on the neck. I was gonna do, um, some pickups that I've been wanting to try for a while. So I've got the same pickups for both guitars. I've got uh, the same Borns pots for both guitars. I've got the same Jeskar fret wire for both guitars. Borns pots, same wiring, everything. We were gonna do a guitar shootout. Which one is best? An old 90s good guitar that's been well used that we're gonna refresh or a brand new Chinese thing that we're going to put some good pickups in and do some stuff. Um, I bought two straps, one real DiMarzio clip lock and one fake. The winner gets the DiMarzio, the loser gets the fake. Again, it's not here. So I'm gonna show you some pictures as I'm talking. Um, be careful, be careful on eBay. I may still get the guitar, maybe I won't. Maybe they're gonna take my money and be gone, which that would be very disappointing. They do have good feedback but obviously not good feedback on, they said it would be here in this window, they missed the window. In fact, they missed the window by so far, the three day weekend's gone. The time I was gonna work on this that I had set aside for these is gone and I still don't even have a tracking number. Now I asked, hey, you got this amount of time, it's gonna be here, right? Radio silence, they've said nothing. So I'm gonna put their names up there, which may not be the wonderful thing, but uh, I'm not a wonderful person. So that way you know who they are and you know not to buy from them because they are not what we in the industry call honest. This is what not to do on eBay. Please check in because in a couple of weeks I'm going to get this guitar and if I don't get it from them I'm going to get it from somebody else and I'm going to do this shootout. Probably going to do two videos. One in the making and what I'm going to do to them. Two, I'm going to have a couple of pro guitar players come in and rate them. So, and I'll also do my own rating on them but since they're kind of my babies, it's really not fair for me to be the ultimate judge. So stay tuned for that one, but please don't do what I did. 
please don't be stupid and please don't just trust eBay people because they have positive feedback. We'll catch you later. Keep on rocking.